Personal conveyance is probably the most misunderstood status in terms of the purpose. The purpose of this status is to be able to move your truck without affecting your working hours within the hours of service. It should be used sparingly unless your truck is your only vehicle. For instance, if you go grocery shopping at the store in your truck, then you can absolutely use personal conveyance for it. If you're going to a casino in your truck, you can use it. If you're using it as a means to commute to work, you can use it. By commute to work, I don't mean head to pick up a container at a ramp. It's important to note that if you're ever heading to a railroad to get a unit, that cannot be personal conveyance because you are definitely under dispatch when you do that. What I mean by commute to work is you live in Hammond, Indiana, and the trucking company you report to is in Elsip, Illinois. You leave Hammond to go to the trucking company in Elsip to report for duty to start your day. Using your truck like a car to get to work can use personal conveyance. The best guideline for this status is if the trucking company benefits or you're moving the truck in a way that would be useful for the job, then you cannot use the status for it. Whether you're being paid to do it doesn't make a difference. Let's go over some specific examples. It's Saturday and I have an appointment with a mechanic to get my truck fixed. Can I use personal conveyance to go to the mechanic? The answer here is no. Heading to a mechanic for maintenance helps the motor carry ultimately, so it is working hours when you're driving there. Another example. I dropped my last load in Northlake and dispatch has no other jobs for me. I am going to return to my normal work location, the motor carrier's address in Elsip. I'm no longer working. Can I use it now? No. The return portion of your trip home is still considered part of the working day, so you could not use it this way. Let's do another example. I dropped my last load in Bedford Park. There are no more jobs. My wife wants to do an early dinner in Northlake, and I'll park at my house in Schaumburg after dinner. Can I use it now? Well, yes. The trip to the dinner can be done on personal conveyance. Schaumburg is my house, not my normal parking location, so I can personal conveyance again here. I'm doing my normal go to my house, but instead of using my car, I'm using my truck to do it. Let's do another food example. I get my load in Chicago, and it's delivering to Grand Rapids, Michigan. My favorite place to eat is in Zeeland, Michigan. Can I then personal conveyance all the way to Zeeland to get my breakfast before I finish my trip to Grand Rapids and make my delivery? What do you think? No. The reason being, you needed to travel those miles anyway for work because that's the direction you're headed with the delivery. Another food example. I'm going to Grand Rapids, Michigan for delivery at 10 a.m. I get to the receiver at 7 a.m. They can't take me early. Can I go personal conveyance to get a bite to eat and return at 10 a.m.? Yes, this would be okay. Remember, when you choose personal conveyance, to notate the reason on your log. Put a comment like food break. When you arrive at the restaurant, go off duty. Okay, now let's talk about another way to use personal conveyance. Safe haven. When you use safe haven, you must notate it on the log. You can do that by typing in the comment, or some ELDs like Erode have it as a choice. You simply push the button that says safe haven after choosing personal conveyance. Safe haven is designed for when you run short of hours but cannot rest where you are. Example, you're at a rail yard. You've been blocked by a train and cannot leave the rail yard. You run out of hours. You can't reset your clock at the railroad because they won't let you sleep there. You can choose personal conveyance, safe haven, and take the truck to the nearest reasonable safe location in order to get rest. Note, after you use safe haven, you need 10 hours consecutive off duty, not counting the personal conveyance you just used. Keep in mind as well, if you're too tired after waiting at the railroad, don't drive the truck. Call. We can have someone come and move the truck for you. Get assistance. Personal conveyance should be used sparingly. If you're using it every day, odds are something is wrong. If you're using it for a long time, something is probably wrong. The more you use it, the more likely you are to get a false logbook violation, which can run upwards of $2,500. False logbooks with an accident can really put you in hot water. You can land yourself in jail for falsifying logbooks. Remember, you have a GPS with that ELD, so everyone can see where you went and what you were doing. So don't try to bend the hours of service rules. If you're lucky, the best outcome for bending the hours of service rules is you'll get fired from a company.
The worst outcome can mean you're in jail for murder because you ran illegally and someone got killed by your bad choices.